Excellency, may I invite you to the floor. Monsieur le Président de la CARICOM, Honorable Philippe Davis, chers compatriotes, représentants des partis politiques, la société civile et le secteur privé, chers invités, mesdames, messieurs. Permettez-moi de commencer par remercier notre hôte le Premier ministre Andrew Holness, pour l'intérêt qu'il porte à la cause haïtienne, pour son hospitalité et pour l'accueil chaleureux qu'il a réservé à la délégation qui m'accompagne et à l'ensemble de mes compatriotes ici présents. Mais remerciement vous aussi à l'honorable Philippe Davis, qui, pendant sa présidence de la CARICOM, a mis la question haïtienne en bonne place dans l'agenda de l'institution communautaire. J'exprime également ma gratitude à secrétaire général et à son équipe dynamique qui ont réussi à surmonter bien la difficulté pour organiser cette réunion. Depuis mon arrivée à la tête du gouvernement, j'ai pris l'engagement d'aller à la rencontre de tous les secteurs de la vie nationale et d'entamer un dialogue pour trouver dans la concertation les voies et moyens en vue de remettre la démocratie sur les rails en créant les conditions pour que le peuple haïtien puisse choisir librement ses dirigeants. C'est ce que j'ai fait, c'est ce que je continue à faire régulièrement. Il n'est pas question de refaire ici l'histoire de cette dernière période bouleversée qui a causé tant de mal, douleur et de peine pour nos compatriotes. Tous ceux qui sont là sont pain and heartache. Everyone who is here has seen the great of untiring efforts to have a discussion in order to build a wide-ranging consensus with all of them of those who Vous, wanted to find this consensus. You, the friends of CARICOM, who, who are facilitating this process, should know that over the last 20 years, we have had discussions, we have had negotiations, and we have convinced of the political actors as well as the civil society in Haiti, so much so that on the 11th of September 2022, there was an agreement, a political agreement, to deal and, uh, with the interim We were asked, therefore, to have a wider consensus. And, of course, this was in keeping with our vision to set up the networks and to deal with the, all of the different, different political differences. So with the rest the rest of the government, we call upon other actors from the civil society, as well as major actors in the private sector. We ask them, by signing on the 22nd of December 2022, a document that we call a national consensus for an inclusive transition and the holding of transparent elections. Certains compatriotes n'ont pas souhaité Some rejoindre le mouvement. Mais ce nouvel accord a permis However, de franchir le cap avec la mise en place du Haut Conseil de la Transition. Mais il est devenu plus difficile However, de poursuivre le dialogue avec certains acteurs et de refuser les débats et encore moins la concertation. Le Haut Conseil de la Transition, le de la transition dans le cadre de sa mission, qui est entre autres part of the mission de chercher à élargir le Conseil, a organisé les 23 et 24 mai 2022 un forum en mai to have a political forum on security, constitutional and electoral reform, good governance, as well as economic and social measures to be undertaken. As part of this participation, as far as participation was concerned, it was a great success, even though some compatriots did refuse once more to engage in dialogue. 
From this forum, there was a joint declaration and calling on the government to go forward and to bring about uh, all the necessary conditions to hold a general election. In my speech, when I addressed to that forum, I once more tried to hope put forth a brotherly fraternal hand to all of my compatriots, to all of those members of my country, people in my country who were um, committed to democracy, to democracy so that we could try as quickly as possible to bring about democratic institutions. And therefore, I'd like to have a friendly reproach to my friends from Caritas to make, to make a game. However, they, and I was very happy to, to, mem to, to, to welcome members of the group of eminent persons to Haiti. However, I'm that this very, very, very often, very soon after we have members from other groups, from other members of the group, I hope, and I'm so happy that the members of the CARICOM have convinced all the other stakeholders to come to this beautiful city of Kingston to have this discussion. Honourable. Prime Minister, Madame la Secrétaire Générale, grâce à vos efforts et à votre détermination, vous avez pu convaincre les uns et les autres que la solution rapide, la solution durable pour Haïti, long lasting solution in Haiti can be brought about through commitment and dialogue. This is a first step, and I hope that there will be others who will allow us to go and go through pays. all of the stages necessary to, to rebuild Mesdames, our country. Je suis venu ici au nom du gouvernement que j'ai l'honneur de diriger. To represent the government that I have honored to reproach à quiconque. I have no wish to reproach Certains anyone. Certains pensent que l'exercice que nous allons faire ici est inutile. Et ne mènera à rien de tangible en plus. tangible. Parce que nous that venons de faire la même chose think. il y a deux semaines à Port-au-Prince. Indeed, we did the same thing two weeks ago in Port-au-Prince, and moi, we cannot continue indefinitely to negotiate. However, I think that each time people of Haiti sit down to discuss and deliberate with Every time that Tout le monde sait qu'aucune solution durable pour Haïti we ne saurait venir de no l'étranger, ni être imposée par d'autres, ni soit de l'ailleurs. Il est bon à nous, haïtiennes et haïtiennes, de trouver entre to, nous, to par nos propres moyens, ce projet national, national to find a national, common, susceptible national project which will bring us together and to have a rebirth of our nation. Nous ne sommes pas venus ici we pour did not come here to negotiate plus. for another nous agreement. Nous nous we are here to qui ont à cœur l'intérêt national sur les prochaines étapes dans la marge de la reconstruction de notre démocratie. Nous sommes entre nous, avec nos frères de la CARICOM. Nous devons sereinement nous dire certaines vérités en face sans nous fâcher pour autant. Certains d'entre nous voulaient accéder au pouvoir sans passer par les élections et ont même coopté un peu dans la République et choisi un nouveau premier ministre. And Pour also to choose a new, a, a new prime minister. For them, it was our best solution. Others, of whom I am a part, thought that it was necessary first to have an environment which is secure, secure and safe, so that the people of Haiti could themselves choose the men and women that they want to lead them. These approaches to approaches are apparently contradictory. Je veux le croire, However, I think pire. both of these approaches are directed de to get the best de possible solution to our, for our country. Pour le dans ces Fight for power in these conditions. 
it's really an ethereal power, a power that would be wielded in extremely difficult situations. And all of this discussion is taking place with the background of a certain of cholera, unstable situations, galloping inflation, and so many other difficulties and challenges. The price to be paid for the most vulnerable is far too high. Les enlèvements contre un son, les assassinats sommaires, um, le blocage des routes qui empêche la libre circulation des personnes et des biens, um, l'insécurité alimentaire qui va près de la moitié de la population, soit plus de 5 millions parmi les nôtres. So many non, people of our population have been adversely affected. We do not have the time, any more time to waste. We need a national effort to take our country out of this infernal spiral. We have to start once again to become a normal country. You do not know how difficult and distressing for us, to, for us as Haitian leaders to go into international meetings from CARICOM and others and to see once and again people talking about the crisis and the difficulties besetting our countries. Instead of looking at economic situations, our potential for tourism, the attracting investment, and for helping the young people who ha have are forced to leave our country. It is, we have been in this transition of almost two years now, and it's high time for us to start a process that will lead us to free, democratic, and inclusive elections. Some, some may say that we are we just, uh, some are just longing, longing for power. If, we, if everything had gone well, we would have been in a pre-electory period. We would have had the time to look, at, to look once more at the Constitution and set up the possibilities for uh, an election. We have taken, made the commitment to have a reshuffling within the government, and that will be done. The promise was done to have reforms for the civil service, and that will be done. Significant changes have been announced that to, to, to bring order to diplomacy, and that will be done. We, local communities, there will be some changes and transformations. That will be done with the Council of the Transition. We have ensured that there will be a transitional electoral commission that will be set up with personalities from different sectors of national life. And this will be done. We have to prove to our compatriots that we are serious when we say that we want to give the people the right to pronounce on their own destiny. Today, once again, on behalf of the government, I hold out a fraternal hand, my fraternal hand to you and invite you to work together with us to bring about the changes that I just mentioned. Of course, not everyone can be a minister. However, we can do so much together for the interest of the country. I would like to call upon you so that we can work together to fight against insecurity and to ensure our brothers and sisters nation here that we can work together. We want to have a national consensus to do away with corruption change mentalities and to have people a civic Commitment. We have to have a reform in the financial sector. Of course, we have started to see the results with the customs duties and customs revenue that is increasing. With the effort of all of us, we can do better. 
will be having general elections. The population must have trust in this process and that they must be sure that their vote will be taken into account. And that is the indispensable, indispensable solution for strong participation to have a certain legitimacy of the government for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, come to work with the next uh, transitional council for the restructuring of the economic apparatus. Let us look at ways of financing political parties and candidates. Help and contribute with us to political, political peace, to talk about infra infrastructure, renewable energy, education. We're waiting for you. Haiti needs the contribution of everyone, of its daughters and sons. We had to come to leave Haiti to meet, and I sincerely hope that this meeting will be successful and this will lead to even more fruitful meetings, because we have so many meetings, so many subjects that we have to um, agree on, to have a consensus on. I'd like to call on all of you, sons and daughters of Haiti, whether or not you are part of the December consensus, whether or not you have signed an agreement, but I'm asking you to participate actively in these days of discussion so that we can have collaboration in good faith with the will to reach a solution. Please let us be as serene as possible in our discussions in view of the gravity, the seriousness of the situation in our countries. People are looking at us, or people are looking at us. And we have to agree on the essential, not just another agreement, but agreement on concrete actions for take us out of the morass and abject misery. I say, well, I will leave it up to you to discuss in serenity, and I will intervene and speak whenever necessary. Long live democracy, long live dialogue and consultation, long live Haiti. So let us work and walk together. Haiti will rise again.